Hello everyone, welcome to this video where I wanted to do something a little bit of a short video just discussing the different types of ambient lighting that are available on the universal kit side. So I didn't want to go too much into all the custom bespoke ones like things specifically for Mercedes, BMW, Audi, nothing like that. This is purely down to the universal side. So these kits can work on pretty much any car as long as there is a live and an earth that is 12 volts, they'll basically work. So without further ado, I'll show you guys the desk little setup that I've done at the moment and you guys can have a look at all the different types of universal ambient lighting kits. So everyone, here are basically the four main universal kits. So we've got the original, basically, which is the fiber optic one. Then we've got this, which is called the acrylic. We've got the normal LED bead, and then we've got the LED bead symphony kits. So I've got them all set up. Obviously, some of them are in a slightly different colors and stuff. And I thought this would be a great way to explain some of the differences. With the fiber optic kits, as you can see just here, this is in essence a single LED that's inside of this little cylinder and then that presses the light through this entire strip okay now this strip as you guys can see it does change in how bright it is as it goes further along it does get a little bit dimmer now obviously the lighting at the moment with the fiber optic kits is it's not as fully bright as it would look with no lighting on in the room. So if I turn the lights off in the room, you can see instantly just how much brighter this actually does look. It carries the light through it a little bit easier. At the moment, this strip isn't exactly the best of strips. This is like a scrap piece of mine, but it does show in this section here, just roughly what this actually looks like. The acrylic kit is pretty much the same as the fiber optic kit. The main difference here is it's got a small LED that comes through this really nice thin piece of acrylic. And if I just disconnect this, for example, for the time being, this strip looks literally like the same color from one end to the other, even though it is one single LED on one side, pushing itself all the way across. Now, if I turn the lights back on, you can see it's a little bit more dim, but the main thing about this kit is, is this is actually more like the OEM kits that are used on like the BMWs and Mercedes. With this, it is very much like the ones that you get in the original like BMWs, Audis and Mercedes style setups. You can see how the light is just nice and just, it's not too in your face. It's just a nice little glow. Even when I turn all the lights back off, it gives out a nice color. So I'm just bringing out my phone and you can see just how all the other colors look with this. It looks absolutely fantastic. You know, it's actually such a nice subtle glow to it. I don't think this gets enough credit, especially in the installation scene. It's much more of an OEM finish. On the app, you can see it's just nice and easy to control the colors. You can control the brightness, make it nice and dim or full brightness and then yeah it's it's just a really really nice soft color with the fiber optic kit as you can see here I'll show you the color changes between both the two kits so both look amazing now the main benefit to using the fiber optic compared to any of the others is it's extremely flexible. You can literally make it into loads of different shapes like such. And doing that with the acrylic wall, it is easy to do in this kind of motion, but you can't move it backwards and forwards. Whereas this, you can literally move it like which any way you want it to, and it'll pretty much always look the same. You gotta make sure that this is pushed in nice and deep, but yeah. You can see that this just looks great. It's just a nice, good looking light. So up next, we've got the LED bead. So as you can compare it to the acrylic or even the fiber optic, it's just so much brighter. It's just got that punchiness to its look. And obviously you can control the colors again on the app. You've got all the full color functionality. You can change the brightness, make it a lot more dim. In fact, this at minimum brightness is basically the same as the acrylic at maximum brightness. 
Looking at these two side by side, you can see just the difference um, in terms of the brightness. And this is that low. So when you turn it over the world to maximum, you can really tell the difference. It's just a, a great look and it just keeps everything simple. Obviously, if I turn off the other lights. So, you know, when you, when you look at this on its own, it looks great. There's small LEDs all the way across this strip. And as you can see, it just keeps a nice look all the way across. It looks amazing. And you see if I'm glowing onto those in the video, but <laughs> let me move those out of the way. And you, you can see on its own just how bright and effective this one is. But comparing it to the LED Symphony, now these two kits look very similar. If I turn this one on now, you can see just how it looks. It's very much the same in terms of the brightness. If I even change it to the same color, you can barely tell the difference between the two. Now with the Symphony kits, you've got the same scope of colors like you do with the LED bead. The main difference here is, is if we go into the settings and click on mode, if we click on mode, and then we've got all these different options. So, you know, we've got There's just so many. If I go all the way over here, you can see just how it looks. You know, you, you got these features where you could do things like this. And like I just showed earlier, you can go back into the main section and just make it a solid color. And just like the others, you can turn the brightness down, turn the brightness, turn the brightness all the way up. You can turn them off on the app. You can turn them back on. You know, you've got so much control over here. It's, it's actually such a brilliant kit. I love using it all the time. And that's why generally these tend to be the most sought after kits because you've just got so much option with it. You got all the normal controls and you can obviously do all the extra patterns as well. Looking at all these kits side by side, you can see just how similar they are in terms of what they're trying to achieve, but they do it in completely different ways. One's more flexible where you've got so much option, so many different ways of installing this onto a car. One's a bit more um, OEM looking. And then these two are, in my opinion, this is like OEM plus, and this is OEM plus plus. It's just basically the next level with it all. The other thing actually I didn't touch on with the fiber optic kit is this comes in a reel of eight meters and you can literally make this strip as long as you want it to be. If you make it really long, I would advise having another light onto the other end as well, just to make sure it's getting light coming through both ends and it's keeping the light color looking as good as it can be. I will say as well, you know, you can see just how flexible the LED bead kits are as well as the LED symphony kits. You can flex them this way, but you can't bend them really backwards and forwards. It struggles a little bit with that. It doesn't want to stay like that. It's happy to stay in this kind of a shape. You can feel it does want to spring back a little bit, but it's okay to be that. But when you do any other ways, it, it just feels like it just wants to spring back into its normal straight line position, which is a bit awkward with some installs, but you can make it work. The other thing that I like to make everyone aware of is you can get the fiber optic kit and the acrylic kits in pretty much the same kind of kits where it's just normal strips or you can get them with the door handle and storage lights plus the foot wells as well for both of them. The LED bead kits, you can get them just the same, but you can also get them with the door handle, door storage and door speaker lights. And with the Symphony kit, it's also the same thing as well. You can actually get these in a full um, setup like the LED bead with the door handle, door storage, and the um, speaker grills. That's kind of the main breakdown in terms of these universal kits and what they have to offer. And actually this has been pretty fun looking through them all and kind of discussing it with you guys. But yeah, everyone, if you wanted to look at installing these kits yourself, I will leave a link for each and every one of them in the descriptions down below. You'll be able to select between the universal kits that like, you know, 
with or without the door handle and door storage lights or with and without the speaker grills and stuff. It's all completely down to you as to what you're after. This video will also help those that are interested in getting an installation done. You'll now know what the differences are between each of the kits. But right everyone, I'm gonna leave this video here. I hope it all has been helpful and explained a little bit better as to the pros and cons and what might be best for you on your car. If you have enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel to see all the car content from myself. And hopefully I'll see you all in a future video. But for now everyone, I'll see you later. Peace out. Bye.